The events of Zero Free Bypass take place during a night shift of an emergency ambulance with a team of three people, a doctor, a paramedic and a driver. They are called to a lonely man's apartment who is apparently clinging on to the last hours of his life. Shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary for our team, that is until they find a gigantic stack of money underneath the man's mattress. The event quickly changes everything about the dynamic of the group as each of them will start leaning towards one of the two ends of the moral spectrum, debating whether they should take this money which obviously does not belong to anyone anymore and in the process running out of precious amounts of time and taking action. The director of this film has stated that he intended to make a kind of hybrid film in order to diversify things up a little bit in Romanian cinema. Taking the highly realist and minimalist style that has pretty much become the norm for Romanian films since pretty much the middle of the last decade, while definitely assuming its subject matters centered around how post-communist Romania continues to struggle in certain areas since the not so easy transition to capitalism and democracy, often enough with a healthy dose of dark humor, and mixing all of this with film elements of much more familiar and commercial genre films such as the psychological thriller. Now considering that this was their intention, I'm happy to report that I think they mostly succeeded in making this mixture of elements apparent on screen as well. The first indication of this was actually the fact that the big event of the film with, you know, these people finding this money doesn't really happen until like halfway through. I mean, I was, I was constantly expecting it to happen because I knew this is what the film was about. It just wasn't happening. <laughs> Instead, I was kept being treated to some excellent banter between these three highly entertaining characters. It's really cool how they managed to construct three characters with extremely different mindsets that nevertheless while they constantly bicker with each other and mercilessly swear at each other, seem to get along just fine. The dialogue and the acting absolutely carry this film. You immediately get the sense that while okay these people might not be what you would call good friends, there is a sense of well-formed chemistry there which has long ago has reached far beyond the borders of politeness. There is like this strange, unwarranted respect kind of thing going on between these people, you know what I mean? And the characters just make total sense. I mean, it makes sense for why Doru is the one who is truly willing from the absolute get-go to just take the money and run. You see, he is the oldest one of the group, he is the driver, he doesn't have any actual training to do real medical work in the field, he doesn't appear to be married or have kids or anything, he has seen too much, he has passed his prime. There is a really funny scene in which our team is approached by a Canadian traveler who just wants to ask for some aspirin or something like that, and Doru, obviously being short-tempered and not understanding English, just gets infuriated and starts making fun of the guy, calling him a cunt and all that. He is already part of the old guard, the one who rejects everything he doesn't understand, the one who just doesn't want anything to do with anything coming from the west. Monica, the paramedic, is the one who absolutely under no circumstances wants anything to do with the money. She seems morally correct, down to earth, intelligent, well read, calculated, yet she is going through a divorce and sleeping around with her younger co-worker about who she cares way too much about because the sentiment is obviously not mutual. Her character is the one who appears to be kind of trying to keep her shit together, but is losing control in the process. And Lucian, the doctor, he is the youngest one, you see he's already made it, he's in the prime of his life, he can sleep around with whoever he wants, he rides his motorcycle, he's cool. He doesn't need to be calculated, he can permit himself to be a lot more instinctive, he doesn't have to worry about the future as much as these other two do. You see, these people may not be what you would call heroes as far as traditional movie characters go, yet they are trying to do their best at their job, which is saving lives actually. But understandably, at the same time, trying to save their skin as well, and trying to cope with certain personal drama that the film hints at. It only hints at certain things because the film knows that you're neither stupid nor inexperienced enough to not be familiar with certain things. Like how it's like to not have any money, how it's like to be on your own, how it's like to have feelings for someone who doesn't have any for you. And it all boils down to the question of if you would find something very valuable like a huge stack of money, it belongs to no one, it used to belong to someone who is now deceased, you haven't worked for it, you haven't earned it. Would you take it? And of course, probably off the top of your head, it would be very easy to answer. You'd probably say, oh fuck yeah, I would take it, finders keepers. Or fuck no, I would never take it, what kind of person does that? Keep in mind, it's not that easy to judge either one of those choices. I think that's basically what the whole film is about, is that certain life paths 
can lead to certain actions. The only thing that bugged me a little bit about the film were certain stylistic choices, like some of the music, some of the editing, when they were trying to be way too genre filmy. You know, it didn't really seem to suit this kind of slice of life Romanian story. From this point of view, I think they could have kept it a little bit more simple, it could have held back a little bit, but it definitely doesn't ruin the movie. Overall, a great film. So yeah, thanks for watching my review, as always, and I will see you later with other reviews. Goodbye, folks.